Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Just going to do a quick video on this new node first frame, middle frame, last frame. As you saw at the start, you can get better facial consistency because you've got that middle frame, and you can get these crazy camera movements, sort of like Higgsfield have been doing. If you've been using WAN 2.2 and ConfUI, there's no new models to download. It's just a quick node to install, so let's get into that. First thing you need to do is go over to your manager, click on custom nodes, and at this top search bar, type in FMLF and install this version here, which is by Wallen. Drag the workflow in. Looking at the start, I've got my width at 832, then 480, then 81 frames. And of course, we've got our first frame, middle frame, last frame. Before I go on to any further, how did we get these frames? So if we go over to the video, this one here on my channel, which goes through all sorts of camera angles and shots, and I'll show everything you need to know. Here's one in detail where I uploaded this photo, and I wanted to get that side image of her face, and the prompt up the top here. Let's have a look at this. Stain on an angle, zoom up to the woman's face like a close-up camera shot, and make the camera move sideways so it's at a side view of the woman's face. I had done the front view as well, so that's how I got my first middle and end frame. I'm using the WAN 2.2 high noise and low noise GGUF Q4 versions. Now, if you want a better quality and you want the FPH, you just unplug that there and plug that up there. And same with that one onto the one below. Just follow the noodle. I have the high and low four-step LoRa's connected from the models. I'll have the links in the comments to all of these models, but if you haven't used one 2.2 before, I've got my text encoder here, my VAE, and my Clip H vision. So in here, I'm using the scaled safe tensor. I got this workflow off running hub, so I haven't had much time to experiment, but the zero star is only on the high noise, and then they've got the sage attention on the low noise. Not too sure why they're doing it that way. Once again, we don't want to go too crazy in the prompt because we do have an input middle and end frame, so it can see those and try and figure out what to do. So here, best quality dynamic motion pushes past the woman's face while still focused on her face. So I did want to make sure that it was doing that sort of maneuver. This is the actual node we've installed. You can see where everything's coming in. And down here, this mode here, because I had one person, I chose single person. If there's something else with a group of people or anything, cars, etc., click on normal. This middle frame ratio, if you put it more towards that end, it'll sort of speed up the shot between the middle and the last frame. Same with the start down here. If you bring it down, it'll speed that end up. If you're in the middle, it'll be even between them. You can play with these other strengths just to get different outlooks of your camera motion. If you want to add a fourth image up here, I've got this one four frame reference. So everything's the same. It's just got an extra one there and you'll have to clip in the H into that one as well and change these on these enable. Now I didn't try the fourth frame reference image because it uses more VRAM, but when I went to the GitHub page for this node i seen this advanced version of the node with a long video continue and when i went up and had a look into the example workflows you've got two workflows here and one here this one here is the 1109 does have the continue so you go in there and you'll come up like on my one with some red boxes on and update your missing nodes and then you can do the extension long video this one above actually has the fourth frame already in the workflow and it has a fifth frame in the workflow. So that's worth trying too if you want to do more advanced techniques in one maneuver. But that one there doesn't have the extra long video so you'll need some good uh, VRAM to run that one but you could probably adjust that a bit. So that's how that one came out. It does do this weird grey glitch at the end. I just trimmed that off at the start of the video, but it does it on all of them. Here was my tilt shot one, so start shot, tilted, and then a little bit closer to the camera. And the prompt over here was very simple. Just tilt, then tilt back and zoom in. This other clip, I had him close up, then it was sort of like a drone shifting up shot, and then above his head. I didn't actually write anything in that prompt, just best quality dynamic motion camera, and it actually came out with a bit of a glitch in that, so there is some sort of guidance by the prompt. 
just when you thought you'd done everything you could with one, someone comes out with another cool product. Try these other workflows, doing four and five. It's just unlimited where you can go with this. And have a go at this other one with the long length and see if you could try and blend those two there. I'm probably going to do another video later on with this when I get time and try and blend it and see what I can come up with. But it's just another thing that I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on doing generations with this. Anyway, watch some of my other videos. There's all sorts of stuff in there. And we'll see you in the next video.